so excited my strawberry crowns are in this is how they'll come in the mail they're not dead don't be alarmed thinking they're dead they're just dormant the first thing you want to do is soak your strawberry crowns for a couple hours in water to give them a good chance and that'll rehydrate and they'll start greening up pretty quick the most critical thing with strawberry crowns is there's a root and then there's a top portion and there's a distinct line you have to have all your soil covering all these roots to there and you have to have all the green stuff the crown above the ground here there's a distinct line so be very careful on planting that no root is exposed and no green stuff is buried if they're buried too deep they'll rot and if they're not buried enough and some root is sticking out shallow they'll dehydrate so other than that strawberries are pretty easy so let's we're gonna plant these today yeah, show them what we're gonna plant them in our log bed we're gonna plant in all the corners and I'm hoping so excited I'm hoping that the, all the strawberries will hang down on our log bed that my hubby built me so I'm gonna dig in here I'm gonna lay the strawberry roots so they go into the bed not down here because they would dehydrate in the dryness I'm going to lay the roots so they go into the bed and just kind of push them in place. Robbery, strawberry roots are really tough, so don't worry about it. The main thing is we want to cover all of these roots with soil. And what I'm going to do is get some handfuls of sand and make sure that they have good drainage with the sand. And then I'm going to cover them the rest of the way with some fresh compost from our compost pile. Okay, first I'm going to put some sand to make sure that they have good drainage. Then I'm going to put some fresh compost and we're going to place that so the entire root is covered. I'm going to cover all of the root and you want to check these for a few days when you water because the sun might, the soil might go down and expose some of the roots. So when you water the first few times just check to make sure that the entire root system is covered and none of the crown is covered. So again, I'm going to lay the strawberry crown in here. I'm going to cover it with some sand and I'm going to put, push that roots so they go into the bed and not down into the dryness here. Then you have a little bit of root showing. You want to take some compost over the top and just to the top of where all the roots are, but not covering any of the crown. And then we're going to water all these guys in. Take your roots, push them down into the bed. Your sand. So strawberries like sandy soil, huh? They like good drainage. They have to have a good drainage. The only thing with strawberries is they're prone to rot and the sand will kind of help hold them in these corners. when I can and don't worry about pushing the roots down you want them to go into the bed and this way we're not digging into the soil and covering with the sand and then the compost sand drainage and I'm pushing the roots into the bed with my fingers I'm pushing them up and the soil is nice and soft pushing the 
the roots with my fingers. Kind of try to spread them out a little bit with your fingers. And then I'm going to top them with compost. These raised beds should be good for growing a variety of things. Um, and we have squirrels here and birds that like to pick on our fruits and veggies. So this year we're going to have a little we're going to have a little preventive measure. We're going to put a some kind of a screen, removable screen top over these things so that those uh, critters can't get at our good fruits and veggies. Now when watering these, since the roots are kind of in there, we're going to water these long and slow. We want to get this whole area moist. So we're going to water it deep so this whole area gets really moist. And we're going to go back over it a couple times. And then we're going to check our placement to make sure all the green is above the ground and all the roots are below the ground. It's really simple. I'm really excited to see these strawberries hanging over these logs. Okay, so update on the strawberries that got planted yesterday morning. This is one day of growth. We got uh, hard rain this morning and this guy is growing like crazy. And the uh, onions appear to be doing very well, as well as the broccoli. So, uh, and we got a few mushrooms starting to pop up here in the middle, which is okay. So that's just, it's just amazing. I'll show you some more. And these sprouts are just new growth from yesterday to today mainly in just today's rain they really love it had to add a few wood chips to some of the areas because they uh, want to wash out through the holes but uh, overall it's looking real good